Hi, this is Paul from PaulBrabby.com and this is a video blog for the Expert Elgo. Uh, I wanted to cover a couple of things today on this Monday. Uh, I wanted to go through uh, natural gas as an example um, for futures contracts. A couple of trading opportunities last week, but how we start to build some of those support and resistance zones. Excuse the alerts going off in the background. Okay, so first of all, uh, let's go on a couple of trades for Thursday and Friday last week. So, one of the things that I'm looking at as well, even though uh, this is obviously contracts reasonably new, natural gas uh, uh, currently, uh, I'm looking at support and resistance zones that are um, new, recent. So this one in purple here, this one at the top here, these highs, we've had one, two, three, four, five tests. Uh, that's probably very, very strong right now. I've just put it in purple. I've got some stronger ones in yellow down in the bottom here. And then just recently, the week before, we had some good tests in and around this zone. But how do we build some uh, further um, zones, if you like, helping us move forward? So, first of all, let's go into some of the um, trading opportunities last Thursday and Friday. I've put this vertical, uh, this horizontal line, sorry, on this uh, chart just here, just to show you when I get this six star sell look at working out support and resistance all that sort of stuff so i just want to pull in this pivot here because this was a pivot low that rejected and went back up to test this sort of level so when we are getting uh these um go okay, even go back to wednesday when we've tested this support and resistance zone and we're getting these six star buys and sells we've got to keep this pivot in mind when we're looking for uh support and resistance zones now at the moment it's just one pivot it's not a zone so uh, it's reasonably weak but we need to make sure we've got enough risk to reward anyway so this uh, six star sell signal here this is European time 13 15 in the afternoon uh, good time we've got a recent pivot here again just make sure you put them on their chart there because you want to make sure you go in any lows below this pivot here so when we come to use our of extension we've got a six star sell on this candle here we want to go above the recent pivot for the stop so this point here we want to make sure we're going below this pivot for the entry so we want to go here okay so the next pivot is down here so risk reward is over one to two or well, one to four to this support and resistance zone this is a good signal let's delete that Further on, we come back up to test this pivot point, okay? Test this pivot point, then we get another six star sell. So again, we're gonna use this pivot point here as our stop. Our entry is gonna probably be below this one just here, okay? And there we go. So we got a one to 1.5 to the next uh, pivot point, one to three to the next support and resistance zone. Four, five, six, six star cells, really, really strong on natural gas there. So you can see we're building up Wednesday, Thursday. We're getting good. We're being patient. We're getting good uh, shorts. We can, we can continue to, to carry this through. Let's delete this one. Let's look at the next signal. So we get a, another six star cell here on the 3rd of November. Again, we've got a recent pivot, that big pivot point there we want to get below. So stop just above the pivot entry just below there one to 1.6 into the middle of that support and resistance zone a third trading opportunity that week very very simple we're not doing anything very complicated the algorithms doing the complicated stuff for you giving you those signals all you're doing is making sure you've got enough fresh air so one two three short trading opportunities on natural gas last week we go further down, further along the week, we hang it around this support resistance zone I put in, then we get a six star cell here. Okay, let me just delete this one. Let's see if the fourth one was any good. So again, we get a, a, a six star cell here. We wanna go below this pivot point. Uh, we just put it down on here. So let's put the stop, the entry just below there, will one to 1.6 into the main support and resistance zone there and it went into the end of the week and now we've opened today we're support we're testing that support and resistance zone so <coughs> last week 
all of these trades, um, all four trades on natural gas were really good trades because they had support and resistance zones. But what can we learn from last week? If we zoom out a little bit, we've got some short term pivots that may be coming to uh, play if we get a bounce off this major support and resistance zone. So this one, we've got a lot of clustering around here, so we'll leave that on. I like this pivot as well because I've got one, two tests there. So what I'm going to do, even though it's a five minute time frame, I'm going to put this on. It's a very, very small zone, very, very small. We're going to take in those two pivots. I'm going to leave it as purple purely because it's only been tested twice, but we've had some good results trading on the other side of that zone, if you like. We've got another one here that worked out pretty well. So I'm just going to put these. These are only temporary, but I know when I've had trades in and around or through those zones, they've worked out pretty well. I've got another one here that worked out pretty well, um, but I've got this big major one there. So I'm just going to leave that one as it is, and I'm just going to leave that line. So for this week, if we push back up on natural gas, I know I've got a bit of trouble here, I've got a bit of trouble there, a bit of trouble there. But the main thing is I can trade between those zones, and I'm using the experience from last week to help me trade. Now, if we push through this support zone this week and continue to go down, then we've got some great trading opportunities as well. So you've got to keep your chart updated each week. Learn from the trades, whether you did them or not. Just look back in retrospect. Look at these pivot points here. Yes, I would have traded below there. Right, let's put that in. That worked out. So if it comes back up to test this week, we've got a good um, good frame to our chart. If we continue to go down and we get a six, we've got a six star style here, for example, right now as I'm making this in the European morning, I've got a pivot just above here. I don't want to enter until it breaks below here, but I've got a great risk reward all the way down to the next support and resistance zone. If I wanted to be a little bit more angle, I could look at these um, points here to say, okay, this could be, this is tested one, two, three times there. It's only a five minute chart. Um, I'm just going to leave it for now. If I go to the 60 minute chart here, see where we are on this current contract. Um, we, you know, we, we've got a couple of tests in there, uh, but not many. I would say, looking at the top of this pivot point here, and the bottom of this pivot point may come into play. We've got support and resistance both at that line. So we've got the top just here. We've got the bottom just here, that support. So again, that could come into play. But right now, if we were to take this uh, trade coming out, go back to the five minute, even that would give us a one to two. So natural gas looks good below 2.8 if it breaks down through that support. So again, just using support and resistance zones, using pivot points to help me, just to make sure I've got that sensible entry strategy. And last week, all the shorts on natural gas were good winners. Uh, if we break through this major support now, uh, the, the trend could continue. Hopefully that helps, and I'll speak to you all soon.